Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Melny and I'm back with another build tutorial. Today we're going to build a nice simple little church. So I'm going to start this build off once again with a round house blueprint. Once we place that, we're going to then select some walls and go two walls high all the way around. Right, next you want to select where you want the front of it to be and then take out those two squares because then we can replace them with half walls and a couple of little slopey bits. You should have something like this at the moment. Next you want to change those slopey bits to a different texture so that you can delete them out and then remove the half wall underneath. And now you can delete these walls underneath because they're not needed at the moment. so far it should be looking a little bit like this right the next part is placing the foundations once again placing these is the, probably the hardest part of the build so to start off I temporarily placed it now I just need to push it up so it's halfway along that next block This is just a marker at the moment. Okay, once you're happy with the join on that, then we can place another one to mark it next to it. Right now, you can have carefully remove these three foundations off of the half circle. Try not to remove any more because you'll never get them back in. and you should be left with this so far next I'm going to stand down the side here and select the block hold it with the action key and slowly drag it towards you until it touches the foundations this is the trickiest foundation to place once you've got it down there low the rest is easy just make sure you take your time to line all this up properly remembering not to snap to that existing foundation because if you do 
you've got to delete all the foundations around it. This took me many attempts, obviously in the video I've done it quite quickly, but this can be a pain. Okay, once you're happy with that, just check this center line meets up with that center line at the back roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's like that, then you're good. Next, I'm going to come another three foundations off those two I've just placed. So you're left with four in total, then your half circle. And now I'm going to place the rest of the walls around the outside. So you can place your roofs up to this one and before we go any further just need to quickly burn those upside down triangles. them out of the way we can now place them last two roof pieces in so there you have it the hardest part of the build is pretty much done repair everything you should be left with something like this so far Next I'm going to work on this roof up the top. So I'll start off by just adding a half wall all the way round. Now I'm going to start placing the roofs on. Uh, this could be a bit tricky on your own when your helper decides to uh, do her own thing. But as you can see, I'll, uh, I'll show you the flamer trick. Takes a little bit of faffing about this bit, only because you're working at height you can build yourself temporary scaffolding if you find it easier I just like to make things difficult for myself
Right, now that's done. Quickly go back to repair. And you should hopefully be left with this. Right, I'm going to use a rug just to cover up that top hole. Next, we're going to work on the front door. So what you're going to need to do on this bit is the easiest way I've found, place a roof, burn the two top half walls, so then you can work on the doorways below. to remove those. This next step is easier if you have the catwalk piece. If you don't have the catwalk piece then you're going to have to line this bit up by eye but you want to move the foundation to the centre. Right now I'm going to place some stairs on the front. Now if you place stairs normally to the foundation you can see there's a slight step in that top. But if you remove it and then replace it with a porchway piece it will then allow you to bring the stairs to the top. And you can just get rid of that and replace it back with a normal foundation. Okay, then I'm going to place a doorway on that. And then foundations can be moved back to the original place. to repair it all. And this is what you should have so far. Right, next we're going to be using a simple drop merge technique. I learnt this from Mr. Church. All you need is a pressure pad and then you can place a mannequin on top of it which acts like an NPC to engage the pressure pad. Done. Next I'm going to use the wavy willard posts and I've done a blueprint where I've just stacked one on top of the other and they fit nicely just in this hole should look like that and then just check outside 
make sure the spacing's all nice. Move them around till you're happy with them. If you don't have the Wavy Willard pack, there's a few alternatives you could use. Simply just stack these on top of each other, the same as the Wavy Willard posts, and then use them to infill the gap. Or you could use these ones. Now I'm going to use my blueprint of the two posts again so I can drop merge them and place them at the front to infill the gaps. And once you're happy with the height that you've reached, you can then merge the rest of them. Using the pressure pad and the mannequin is probably the easiest way to merge. You can merge most items in the game, just placing them on top of each other, pick them up and drop them on top of the pressure pad and see what you can invent. Okay then I'm just having a little final tweak, pushing them to where I want them to be. Now I've chose to infill the centre of these with light boxes. You don't need to, you could always put three posts, three sets of posts in if you'd rather that. I just haven't had a chance to use these light boxes, I've seen many people put them in walls. So I thought I'd give it a go. Just simply burn the posts and then it allow you to squeeze a light box in between them.
Okay, then um, we're just going to repair everything. And there you have it. The holes have gone. And that's pretty much it for the general build of it. You could use any skin on the pack, maybe the haunted house skin on the outside, brick pack, contemporary, whichever one you choose. All right, now I'm going to head off and I will show you what I've done with it. Okay, I've chose to use the latest texture pack off of the late from the latest scoreboard. I really like this pack personally. It fits well with the church theme. I really like the way these roofs end up once they're all burnt together. Okay, let's take a look inside. I've kept it nice and simple, quite basic. I used only just over half my budget and I've got a load of stuff out the front. Most of the items I've used, the plans that you can get from in-game, there's a few atom shop stuff thrown in. Putting these stalls into the floor is just a, a foundation merge. I personally don't like doing them because they drive me nuts, but sometimes it has to be done. Placing these corners in is just simply burn it all in. And then to get the curtains to float upstairs, I placed in temporary stairs with some upper floors as scaffolding. And for some strange reason, them curtains will float, even though Bethesda doesn't like things floating. And there you go. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. A massive thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel. Much appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one.